We must hurry. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. It won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Vanahan, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal. And I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well... It makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon. You can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? 
<laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Golden boar, giant turtle, you sure have some interesting friends. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then. See? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought... Maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. Oh my god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? spare you. Being a god, it 
can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like God. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't? Into a wolf. You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll be. Become capable of. So you knew all along. I'm glad, but I've known. more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was about. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Kier's vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right I will show you. Okay. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Or I can just tell you this story later.
language cipher. We should look for more like this. Final bone. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just. Never mind. I just gotta return the bones. Maybe I can fly. No. No! Gods too must stay on the path. I promise you. So, Odin wants to go where he can't reach. Are you saying he's trying to get to Jotunheim too? Aye. It ranks among his foremost obsessions. But that doesn't make any sense to me. Oh? When did I stop making sense? Except for one thing, you are headed for Jotunheim, so he was right. I'm so confused. Well then, clearly you've been listening. <laughs> 